In today's video, I've come down to the woods uh, because I want to find some mushrooms in the undergrowth to shoot with my brand new Adaptlux flash lighting arms. So stick around, I'll get started in just a sec. Hi guys, I'm Ben from Adaptalux and today I've come down to the woods. Um, it's not very convenient for me to shoot outside at home. I don't have a garden, so uh, if I want to go uh, for a walk about and try and find some uh, mushrooms, which is what we're doing today, I need to come down to, uh, down to the woods and trek around a little bit. Uh, hopefully we'll spot some. My eyesight's not the best, um, but I think uh, they should be plentiful here, so uh, it should be a pretty chilled out day of wandering around with my camera and uh, finding some interesting things to shoot. I do also have my flash lighting arms, uh, which we'll talk a little bit about in a moment when we go through all of my gear. So I've stopped off at this little makeshift shelter that I found, which reminds me of my days uh, orienteering and camping over in these woods as an army cadet. But we're not camping over today, we're doing some photography. So I need to show you the equipment that I'm using. First things first, I've got a little um, shoulder bag, which is very small, but it's going to hold everything that I need for today's shoot, with the exception of the lightweight tripod that you guys are currently sat on. I might use the tripod for holding my lighting later on, but I'm going to be mostly shooting freehand uh, with my Sony a7 III. Um, on the front of my Sony, I've got a, a Sony lens. It's a 28 to 70 mil lens, which is just a kit lens. That sounds like something that wouldn't be very good for photographing uh, mushrooms. And that's true if it weren't for uh, this little adapter that I've got on the front here. This is a uh, Raynox 250 um, clip-on macro adapter. So that just clips to the front of my kit lens and it adds a huge amount of magnification. And it's also going to maintain uh, my autofocus capability. My other uh, macro lenses, they're all manual focus and I don't really fancy trying to manual focus with a mirrorless camera out in the woods like this. Um, it's going to be very tricky to uh, to see what I'm doing, especially using flash as well. But we'll talk a little bit more about that in a little while. You'll notice some of the other interesting attachments that I've got on here. I've first of all got a, uh, a camera strap, which I usually wouldn't have, um, but I don't want to drop my gear out in the woods, so uh, I've got a little wrist strap. I've got an L bracket on here, which is holding um, my GoPro. That should give you guys um, an interesting view on what I'm doing and what I'm seeing. On the top of my camera, I've got my Adapterlux flash emitter, which uh, is going to sit on my hot shoe for the entire shoot. Um, and I can also choose to mount my uh, control pod on the top of there as well. I'll be using a variety of on and off camera lighting, depending on what situations I come across and maybe just for some variety. I've also got some of our um, flash gels. Uh, all of these come with uh, every single lighting arm, nice and little flexible gel, so uh, they don't take up any space in my bag, and it's nice to just bring some color with you into the field. I don't know whether I'll get the opportunity to use it today, uh, but I've got it if I need it. Now, the very last thing that I've got on my person is, um, is my uh, holster. So I've got a little ball head on the bottom of my, um, of my camera and that just fits into my holster. So if I need to uh, have my hands free or put my camera down for a moment, I can just attach it to my hip uh, instead, of, um, instead of putting it down in the, uh, in the mud in the undergrowth and potentially getting mud all over my camera and my lens. Uh, so that's a spider holster. Um, so I'm going to clip my camera into my belt and take a look around to see if we can find some mushrooms. So one of the disadvantages of flash is that you can't see what your image is going to look like before you take your shot. And one disadvantage of mirrorless cameras like my Sony is that you can't see daylight through the viewfinder. It's a digital viewfinder showing you what you've exposed for rather than what's actually there in front of the camera. 
With both of those things combined, having to expose for the flash and also not being able to see um, with your own eyes what's in front of the camera, make it very difficult to focus and to compose. Um, that's where our little Raynox attachment comes in. I did try using my 100mm Tekina lens, which is the lens that I enjoy using inside, but that's a manual focus lens. With my um, kit lens and the Raynox attachment, I can use my autofocus. That means that uh, the camera will automatically brighten up the scene. It will use its autofocus assist beam if it needs to um, to to show me what's in front of the uh, in front of the lens. Even if it's only for a moment, it's going to focus, and I can compose in that time as well. Um, and then just take my shot with the proper settings for my flash. If you're trying to use um, a manual lens with a, uh, a mirrorless camera like this, you're going to be flicking your settings back and forth between being able to see and being properly exposed for your flash. mushrooms absolutely everywhere there's another couple of mushrooms on the other side of this log that I'm sitting on uh, so I'll take a look at those in just a moment but for now I wanted to talk to you about the diffusion that I'm using diffusion is super important when it comes to flash because flash is such a powerful light source um, and especially when you're close like this it can leave really harsh shadows and uh, hot spots on your images uh, which are not very pleasing to the eye so we need some diffusion um, there's a couple of ways that I've been diffusing my arms uh, the first of which is using one of the diffusion gels that comes with the arm. These just pop onto the front of the arm like that and they diffuse the light coming straight out of the arm. We also have these pro hoods. So this is a, a, a directional diffuser which fits right over the front of the arm and over the gels as well. So that's now double diffused. I can also put colored gels on uh, the inside and a diffuser on the outside and have diffused colored light if I want that. We do have a couple of other pro hoods as well. So there's a, an area diffuser which will spread out that diffused light. Uh, it will shoot out from the sides as well as the front and fill uh, a wider area. And then finally, we also have a uh, honeycomb attachment as well. So you can attach that to the front of your arm and really direct that light to be exactly where you need it to be. I've been using all of these in combination just to uh, uh, soften the light, to control my light and make sure it's hitting exactly the parts of my mushrooms that I want it to. <laughs> So I'm back out on the uh, main path out of the wilderness because my mushroom hunt is coming to a close. Uh, I found a few different groups of mushrooms, not a huge amount of variety in, in types, but uh, lots of um, different amounts and the way that they're growing, different ages, some with spores on them. Um, I don't know any of the types of mushrooms that I've found today, so if you, um, if you recognize some of them, don't hesitate to let me know down in the comments what type of mushrooms I've been shooting today. I've certainly enjoyed using the flash. Having a little bit of extra um, lighting involved with these shots have made them a little bit more uh, dramatic, having directional lighting, having control over that lighting. And because it's flash, there's plenty of power to, uh, to fill in where the, uh, the shade has been caused by all of the trees. Um, so I've had a lot of fun. If you've enjoyed this shoot, uh, and if you've enjoyed seeing me <laughs> venture outdoors for once make sure to like the video it lets me know that you want more of this type of content um, for now I'm almost back at my car so um, that is all that I've got time for thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time <laughs>